Hello folks, in this video I'm gonna show you how to build a metal detector which detects any wires or metal behind the wall. So to put this ball I'm gonna use uh, this normal grinder. Okay, so we've got this board 5.5 centimeters on uh, by 5.5 centimeters as well. Now we can use permanent marker and then draw the circuit board right so first step mark all the dots where your components are going to be connected together so now I'm going to use the small drill bit to drill these little holes okay so we've got this board ready we drilled all the holes so let's pour in that magic liquid, see what happens. Right, let's check what happened now, after 30 minutes. Okay, so my board is ready now to solder all components. Okay, so on another side of this board you can write down all the resistors, transistors. So it'll be easy to understand. So we've got all the parts ready, so we can start soldering. Okay, so let's begin with transistors first. So all of them, all three of them, uh, same. Right next, we're gonna solder the LED. Make sure this flat side goes on top. Okay, next one. Let's solder on a potentiometer. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, now we're gonna put switch in. Right, so now we're gonna solder on uh, resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, 4 and 5. First one, so say your multimeter and ohms. And then let's find out. Second one, resistor 2. Okay, let's check. Right, next one, resistor 3, let's check, next resistor 4, which should be 2k, let's check, right, and resistor 5, which should be 10k, Let's try. So, okay, next I'm gonna solder the diode on, which is uh, D1, and do exactly with a Zener diode, black side which is on uh, the left okay next we will try uh, capacitors so let's try that one or that one don't know which one works better and, uh, and C2 now um, let's Solder these wires on um, for 9 volt battery. Okay, and uh, the last step we're gonna do is uh, use this wire for both loops. So, first loop we're gonna wind 120 times on the first loop, which is A and B, and the second loop is C and D. 
so as I said uh, loop 1 is 120 times and loop 2 about 40 times for ferry car we can uh, stick double tape around it and then wind so all the wire stays nicely in the same place Okay, now we've got everything ready, connect to the 9 volt battery and uh, let's make adjustments to the maximum sensitivity. Right, let's uh, turn RV1 fully clockwise. Okay. And uh, RV2 choose that one uh, anti-clockwise okay so now we can press this button and RV1 RV1 gets Turn it backwards until light goes off. Okay. And the final step. This is for maximum sensitivity. So press again. And then turn it clockwise. Until the lights up. Right. I think it's too much. Let's go backwards a bit. Okay. So now it's ready. We can test it. Right, let's check if this device can detect live wires. Okay, let's check another one switch. <laughs> 